A developing story from the Afghan capital next, where Islamic State has claimed it was behind a suicide bombing blast. Police say 15 people have been killed, many more wounded. Local journalist Bilal Sawari is in Kabul now and joins me live on the programme. Bilal, bring us up to date with what we're learning. What's the latest there? Uh... Obviously, those are the official figures. The spokesman for the health ministry, Wahid Majru, is saying that the figures could rise. Unfortunately, uh, several security sources uh, speaking to me are saying that at least 42 members of the police force uh, are among those killed, at least 40 people, both police and demonstrators, uh, are among those wounded. Uh, it was uh, a, an operation against uh, alcohol and drug dealers in an area that's not very far from the center of the city when there was a firefight between police uh, and a very notorious alcohol and drug dealer. Uh, and then uh, someone was killed. Uh, that was their neighborhood. People came out bringing the funerals. They were demonstrating. And then there was a fear that they could burn down uh, the police station. This is when uh, the police station asked for help. Uh, when the Rapid Reaction Force and uh, members of the uh, Afghan uh, law and order police arrived, uh, there was a suicide attack. Uh, uh, killing uh, a lot of uh, members of the police force. Now, uh, this is a tragic event because uh, these are people from poor families and backgrounds. Most of them want to work with the police force because they want to put food on their table. They also have years of experience in the force. Uh, this was a huge investment of international forces. So unfortunately, in the long run, this is a blow uh, for a force that's already suffering. And uh, as I have said before, uh, the Afghan government is finding it very challenging to prevent these attacks from happening in bigger cities, including Kabul. And cities are now a front line, both for the Islamic State as well as uh, for the Taliban. Uh, one of the worrying uh, concerns here is the existence of sleeper cells and, and the fact that the Afghan government has very little knowledge or very little power to prevent these attacks from happening. So, unfortunately, Tonight, uh, Afghanistan bleeds, and uh, an event like this would have happened on a front line a few years ago in Helmand or somewhere else. But the fact that you lose uh, such a big number of your uh, military or civilians uh, in, in the capital uh, of your country, I think, only tells you how volatile the security situation remains in Afghanistan. On a deadly day in Kabul, Bilal Sawari, local journalist, giving us the story. Thank you.